Well, uh, as you may know, uh, every time we have a guest on our show, uh, we go through a series of Clubhouse questions uh, to get allow us to get to know you a little better before we jump into the movie, but also allow our audience to uh, get to know a little bit of you, your tastes, and uh, what you have uh, in your movie viewing experience. Uh, so we'll shoot. We'll just uh, pass it on over to Ben for his Clubhouse question. I just like the idea of having people on from other podcasts just to steal an idea, just to like yeah. make our own yeah. podcast from like things that they do. It's like, we'll take that. That's ours now. That's great. Um, Goodbye. <laughs> so the question I love asking people when I'm talking about movies is basically the desert island. You know, you can mm-hmm. you can ha- take the filmography of one director, one actor. You have, I don't know, some big projector and a big white screen hooked up to your palm trees. You can watch whatever you want. but yeah, well, I just want to know who, who you would take. You know, if they're still alive, you could you'll be sent the stuff they continue to make um, mm. if they're no longer with us. And obviously you're that's a closed loop right there that you got. So, yeah, I'm just curious, who would be your Desert Island actor or director? Uh, I would go with director and I would cheat slightly because it's technically it. two directors, Joel and Ethan Cohen. It's great. Um, Ooh. Because I don't know where you get more like variety almost. I mean, yeah. they have distinct voice and style but like they do like the lady killers and then they do like blood simple so like no matter what you're in the mood for stuck on the island i think you can you can find it and they don't really have a bad movie in my opinion like even the stuff that's not like 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 lauded by the oscars is like what like the hudsucker proxy that's a perfectly fun movie like i can throw that on on for the kids yeah, yeah. It's, hey, it's for the kids, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so, the Coen Brothers would be would be a pretty easy pick. I, it would be hard to pick an actor because actors always have like big time stinkers somewhere. You know, like and there's, yeah. there's very few actors who it's are true. like batting a thousand or whatever. It's funny because that's where I thought you were going with this. The cheat. I was like, oh, I've never thought of that before. Like, if you take. I mean, I guess he didn't do much movie acting, but like Ron Howard or something like someone that's yeah. you know, Clint Eastwood, I think might be a good answer. Yeah, yeah that's I a mean, good answer. You need to have a very specific taste in movies, I think, if you want to be <laughs> yeah. Clint Eastwood. But. Plus then you get Gran Torino and I'm like, whoops, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, no, that's awesome. I think, I mean, we're all fans of the Coens here, like very big, very uh, Lebowski friendly pod over here. Yeah, so that's right. I yeah. know that's that's what would get worn out on my island. So, yeah, that's awesome. I love yeah. it. Any Lock pick it. that gets me the big Lebowski, that's yeah. fine. Well, wait, wait, let me let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. A lot of ins, a lot of outs, a <laughs> lot of strands in Old Duder's Noggin. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. what have you. <laughs> Yeah. Any excuse I have to put in a clip of Big Lebowski into an episode, I'm I'm all about. So thank you okay. for that. I, I try to give you as many excuses as I can, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you to our guest Travis for doing it this time. No problem. Um, yeah, got out of the way early. We're good. <laughs> so I'm curious to know, like you know, especially with uh, movie theaters having been closed for so long, and I think our experiences watching movies are very like personal and intimate now, and by which I mean like just at your house, you know, not with people. So I'm curious if you have a a moment, a movie experience that you remember that stands out like a favorite movie experience. Like uh, just as an example, like the last movie I think I saw in theaters was um, Avengers Endgame. And when Cap catches the hammer, the place went just crazy, you know, and that, you know, moments like that stick out. So I'm curious if you have something like that that sticks out to you. So uh, um, my personal one is I think, this isn't like the last thing I saw by any means, but I saw the Coen's True Grit in theaters. Mm. Oh and, yeah, and that's like a perfect movie to me. Yeah. Um, and there's this like sequence near the end where he's carrying, um, he's carrying the the girl, the lead yeah. girl mm-hmm. in his arms, and she's dying of a snake bite, and he has to shoot her horse in the middle of a like yeah a, like moonlit field. Yeah, uh, and I was like coming into my own as a movie nerd at that point, realizing like, I'm never going to stop loving movies. And, yeah. <laughs> um, and so I remember like when that happens in the movie, it's so like sudden, but also like, you just know, like this is happening. Um, and if I remember yeah. right, the horse is like worn out from riding too hard. Right. Yeah. yeah he just had to yeah. like stick it with his knife to keep it going. It's so brutal. Yeah, like, it's such a great yeah. scene. I remember that like very yeah. specifically as well. 
the Carter Burwell score is like, it'll mm-hmm. just, it'll get you. Yeah. Um, and the theater just got like dead silent. You know what I mean? And this is not like a hoot. And ho- this is an end game or something, right? Yeah. This, mm-hmm. this is like, you know, a, some great adaptation of a, a prestige movie that already happened. Um, but uh, it, that was great. I remember that. Like, I remember watching that in theaters and being like, I need to watch that again, like tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a sub, a sub uh, answer would be, I got to take my kids to the drive-in to see Raiders of the Lost Ark. And that <laughs> oh, was rad super fun first time they've seen it and they get to see it at a drive-in which just felt perfect uh and so they you know they had some questions it was their <laughs> first big sure. movie, uh, but <laughs> but so much fun so much fun that's awesome that's, that's, nice that's little cool. slice of americana there yeah <laughs> oh yeah i like your uh <clears throat> true grit answer because typically the answers we get and the ones that i personally think of are the more uh raucous moments right yeah uh, or the moments where the the vibe in the theater is more like excited and electric in like a in the buzzy sort of way as a, as opposed to like that like tense nervous sort of buzz um yeah. so i think that's cool that's that's a great moment and, and i remember that moment specifically in that movie as well and in fact outside of like the showdown in the cabin in the canyon i can't really remember too much about that movie otherwise so yeah yeah same page oh man i i love true grit um this is gonna sound stupid but there was a moment in that movie, they're in the woods and like that, the people who are pursuing Rooster Cogburn, like just like screaming his name in the woods. There's that guy, he's yeah. just like, like phlegms coming out of his mouth. He's like, Rooster! <laughs> and it was Barry like, Pepper. Barry Pepper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I just remember thinking like, this is not going to be a popular take, but like, I already love this more than the original True Grit. So. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, I I my dad's say, so pissed at you right now. <laughs> All my dads everywhere are pissed. Yeah. 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 My mom just turned this Sorry, off. She's like, oh, Sorry, you're going to diss John Wayne like that? Like, I'm done. Um, well, I mean, I was going to say, I feel like this belongs in, like, the remake Hall of Fame. Like, this is one where I would choose the remake over it, which doesn't happen often. But I think yeah. this one is is great. And it's a weird exercise in, like, I don't think we needed a new True Grit. But, like, no. I'm... In the end, I'm glad it happened. You know, I wonder yeah. mm-hmm. if if anyone else had made it, if, if I'd feel the same way, because uh, I'm a pretty big Coen Brothers fan myself. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's really like remarkable. It's really an, it's an adaptation of the book more than the first movie is. You sure. Know what I mean? mm-hmm. It's like yeah. the first movie. I never goes, read the book, so I guess I don't know. But yeah, it, it's just it's rougher. You know, the movie has more of a sheen to it and it's just a John Wayne vehicle. It's fine. Like, it's not bad by any means. Uh, but the Coen brothers were like, you know, adapting the source material and mm. it, it shows, I think it's a little purer in some ways. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, my question uh, is a few rounds ago, uh, we, we had been had the idea of doing a round where each of us select an unsung gem. And what an unsung gem is, it's a movie that you like that you either feel like gets very underappreciated by pretty much everybody around you or is just severely underrated. Like maybe people have seen it, but you just feel like they don't get it. And what would that movie be for you? I have a pretty recent one, actually. Um, If you've seen any like Nora Ephron movies, like, you know, Sleepless in Seattle Mm -hmm. or You've Got Mail. um, uh, I think she wrote she wrote When Harry Met Sally, right? Even though Rob Mm -hmm. Reiner directed it. I just watched a bunch of those like three in a row, those three. Um, but then I heard of this one that's super weird and it's called mixed nuts. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Oh yes. my God. This, this is, is unbelievable. Perfect. Seriously. This is so good. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like uh, <laughs> I, the, I synergy. Want, the synergy. Okay. I'm going to cry. So good. This is perfect. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I loved mixed nuts. It's so good. I mean, like Madeline Kahn and Steve Martin doing like, kind of a straight man, like not, not crazy, like wild and crazy guys team. I don't know, man, everything about that to me, the fact that it's clearly adapted from a play, like a super small location Mm -hmm. and everybody's character work is so fun. And I don't know, man, it's just so zany and nuts and like a Christmas movie. I never knew again, I never knew I needed, but now I'm going to watch it every single year. Like no question. (laughs) And cut to stepbrothers, best friend scene. What did we just become best friends? Yep. (laughs) <laughs> for matt and travis this is beautiful travis you saved a life tonight <laughs> <laughs> so i just want to clarify to anybody listening like 
I forgot to send the questions to Travis. So he had no like idea what was coming until like five minutes ago. So the fact that this was Matt's pick for our round of unsung gems, and oh, then wow. you just said that it was just like, you, you could not be have, more perfect. This was the movie that tattoo. Like, do you have a tattoo of Madeline Kahn? As a I need one. <laughs> it's Sandler. I need one that song. says, what can I do you back. for? Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Sandler's perfectly used in that movie too. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Just enough and just the right amount of nuts. I Leah like. Shriver. He had my like favorite everyone. moment in the whole movie. Yeah, it's really fun. Wow. Well, yeah, that's. I, I love that like, so much. Respect <laughs> to everyone that's been on here and given us this answer, but this is, I think, just the best answer we've <laughs> oh, ever got. I'm so happy. He's just. Matt, I mean, he's tickling all of our backs. He's saying Cohen Brothers. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Nick's nuts. I'm like, just waiting okay. for some Ferris comment to come up before we're yeah. done. I'm like, all right, cool. This is. It doesn't count if you prompt it like that. Oh, man. that's oh. true. All right, I'll think of something <laughs> else. <laughs> oh man, wow, that's, that's amazing. That's great. Yeah, Should we're we not gonna. Cut? That was the not, best. Yeah, we're not gonna do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah. we're, it's uphill. It's all downhill from here, right? Or that's right. How's the yeah. saying go? <laughs>